back. This is uh, part four of my SketchUp tutorial series. I'm trying to make the videos a little bit shorter so that you can jump to the specific sections you want. So I hope that works well for everybody. In the last video, we went ahead and imported our image and sized it to our approximate model size you wanted. In this case, it's a 30 inch wingspan edge 540. And now we're going to go ahead and get started on tracing out the parts. Okay, to start tracing, we want to we want to talk about a couple things first. When working with two sides, they're going to be identical. So we've got you know, your your left and your right side of the airplane, we actually only want to draw half of the side and then we're going to mirror that so we know that everything is exactly the same on your right side versus your left. Because if you, if you try to just trace it and draw it in, you may end up with just some minor differences on your sides that, that's going to affect the shape and outline. You're not going to have a symmetrical airplane left and right. So what we want to do first is put in some reference lines. And we can do that with our tape measure tool. So we'll go ahead and grab that, and I'm going to come over to this green axis and get a guideline. And the nice thing on this three view is they already have uh, a kind of a center line reference for us. So we just want to scroll in and get as close to as that as we can. You know, maybe double checking with the rudder that we make sure that that's it's straight there, and with the nose, you'll notice it's maybe a little bit off. So if we wanted to, we could actually rotate the image. But we're just going to kind of use this as a guide and get this as close to the center as we can and then we'll go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and put it there. That's pretty close up here. We'll have a minor difference. So but that'll, that'll be okay because we're only going to draw half. And then when we mirror it, it'll come out alright in the other half. Now on the, uh, the side view, there's not a whole lot we're going to do with that there. It isn't a symmetrical uh, view on this airplane. So we don't need to worry about that guideline for now. So really we just have the one over here. So let's go ahead and start by tracing out this. It's going to be a, a simple view. And we're going to start tracing out the, uh, the side view of the fuselage. So what I like to do is start by getting um, as many straight lines in as I can. And some of these will overlap and some of them will delete as we go. And so let's just go ahead and do that. Let's grab our line tool. And let's find a reference point that we want to start. Now we've got a, a, an arc or a curve here for the canopy. So I'm just going to start behind that, wherever I think that curve is going to end, and I'm going to put it at the back of this canopy area. So again, it's not going to snap, we're just looking to trace over this. So I'm going to start my line, and I'm going to bring it down to about where this other curve is going to start. So I am going to put that right about there. Now we don't want to draw straight lines, that's going to be blocky, so we're going to hit escape to get out of our line view. And then I actually like to come up to the top here. And you can do it one of two ways. You can draw the whole rudder in with it, or you can draw just the vertical stab. I actually like to just draw the vertical stab because we're going to end up taking the rudder off anyway, so we might as well just draw it separately. So I'm going to come up here to about where the, the rudder and the vertical stab meet. And I'm going to draw down to where I think that, that arc or that curve starts. Draw again, and then we're going to hit escape. Now we've got two choices here. We can use our arc tool to see if we can get close to the shape or we can use our Bezier curve. So let's just try the simple one first. Let's try the arc. So click on your first point and your second point. Now we want to control the bulge. And you can kind of see that it's it's pretty close with this this tangent bulge. So if you're happy with that, you can just close it in. And um, it's joined the lines. And you can see that it's it's actually pretty good for this shape. Now if you weren't happy with that, you can delete that line. We can go in and actually use a Bezier curve for this. So that's kind of the same thing. We'll start with our endpoint and our second endpoint. And now what you do is you actually set control points to adjust the curve. And you see as we move it around, it's gonna it's gonna change where kind of the vertex of that 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 bulge is and, and the the angle of it. And we can actually add in multiple control points. So you can kind of start with one. And as you see, they move around. Might take a little bit plain. And uh, as I can see, we already have kind of messed that. So we can go undo last change. So let's start up towards the top. We'll do that one. And then we can bring this one down and curve it a little more, more uh, to where we want it. And then once we're done, we right click. We can either done go do a done making our points. We can switch to addition, which will let us kind of fine tune these. Or we can close it out. Now one thing with using this Bezier 
curve tool is by default it's got 20 sections to the curve and if you want a more precise curve you want to increase that so say if we go up to 50 it'll s and you need to type s 50 sections it'll smooth it out just a little bit now it's hard to see on this but when we're working with airfoils you really see a difference once we're happy with it we just hit done and our our curve is in there so two different ways to do the same thing just depends on how precise you want to make that that arch that curve we'll get that done so let's move on let's continue tracing this out now here we want to make a straight line over to our basically our hinge line for this rudder and uh, again just looking at our image getting it as close as we can and then I'm going to bring this straight down to where I think this line meets up so about there all right the nice thing about edge is it's got a lot of straight lines so we're going to bring these down as close as we can you know, if you notice that things don't look like they're lining up, you can always back up and, and uh, make your line different. Like I see here that maybe I didn't bring that back one down far enough. So I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to erase this last entity and I'm going to stretch it out just a little bit more. So I'm going to bring it all the way down to about there. And then if I bring this out here, that looks a little bit closer to, to our edge. So. All right, now we're up to another curve. So what I'd like to do before I create curves is I'd like to create my next endpoint. So I'm gonna close out of this line. I'm gonna actually bring, I'm gonna start back from this canopy here. I'm gonna bring this, and you notice it's same parallel to edge. What that's doing is it's paralleling this edge. And um, that's pretty close. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with that, and I'm gonna bring this uh, straight down. All right, now we've got a couple curves to cl to finish out this face. So again, you can try using your arc tool and seeing if you can get it close to where you like. Doesn't look like it's going to work there, and I'm pretty sure it's not going to work here. Although that one's pretty close, I think we can go with that one. Then let's uh, go ahead and put our curve here. Oops, uh, redo that. So. Just start all over. Endpoint, endpoint. So like that. Done an exit tool. All right. So now that we've finished our line and enclosed it, it's going to actually make it as a surface. So you can see we've got the outline of our uh, side view of the fuselage. All right. We've got our fuselage side view. So let's go ahead and. Um, draw our rudder. Now what we want to do is if we were to just start drawing lines on here uh, right over in addition to this image it's going to start connecting with them. Now there's two things we can do. We can create layers which I think adds complexity to it or we can go ahead and select our item and make it a component or a group. So you can either make a group or make a component. I'm going to go ahead and make a component because we'll be able to use that later. So you can name it or not. It's up to you. Let's just do fuse side and now we have a component. Now I can draw lines that overlap this, but if I come back and select my fuse component and move, it's not attached to that other line. So let's just go ahead and uh, undo our changes there. There we go. And start drawing our rudder. Now, depending on how you design this, you can go with a stock size rudder or you can enlarge it depending on your desires for your how your airplane is going to look and fly. Generally in model aircraft, especially when scaling them down, you're going to actually add a little bit of tail surface area to these, but we're going to go ahead and just draw it uh, off the stock three views for now. So you can start, uh, you can actually just snap to these other points, which is nice, and then create a parallel to edge. That's going to make sure you, you follow the same edge uh, line as this other and uh, it'll look cleaner in your finished model. So we can start doing that and we can just put in our rough lines here. And again, you may, you can choose whether you draw in all the curves or not. I'm gonna do the, the larger ones for sure. So we'll put that, let's actually escape away from there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it right off the bottom of that. And we'll come straight out. Let's go to our arc tool, see if that'll complete this nicely. Eh, it's close enough. Now you see it didn't cl close this like it would anything else because it's not using this edge f 
from our component as part of this object. So we do still need to trace over those. So we can simply come over here, snap to our points, snap to our points, and now we have a completed component. So at this point it's good to go ahead and make that another component and we'll make that be the rudder.